that's helped me immensely over the past many years. <clears throat> it never ceases to amaze me what inspires different players as they perform. Some think chords and scales, others hear licks or simple melodic phrases like the pentatonic pairs I inherited from Wenton Kelly in the Army. I've constructed an entire learning system based on those pairs. I was equally inspired along the way by the sound of three passing tones descending chromatically to a 5-7 chord. Like the sound of that flat 7 setup in the Jazz Everyone language system. That sound always helped me find the 2-5-1 patterns with more conviction. You can create your own rules for finding, naming, and using these chromatics. But better yet, when I start playing them, and turn on my ears to the chromatics, a natural force seems to take over. That being said, I'm going to put the chromatics to work now in a commonly used 251 cycle. This is introduced by Jamie Abersall in volume 16, disc number 2, track number 2. As I randomly play through sets of these chromatic patterns, in the various chords of these cycles, you'll hear me hesitate and kind of lose the flow. Then I'll turn those ears on again and let the chromatics guide me. And I suggest you check out the patterns in your downloads as I play. These exercises are all transcribed in your folder. Try playing them with me. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
The main idea here is helping you to use the chromatics to find and reinforce starting places for the new 251 patterns. Many of these vocabulary concepts can be found in the diminished 3 and half diminished 2 pack in the player's corner. These patterns will add new dimensions to everything you play. <laughs> Thank you.